this is the problem. Let's say Christy was like this, okay? And she couldn't do this, right? So it's hypermobility, right? The question I must ask myself, oh, this is so much work. Okay, ready? We're seeing those after lunch, right? So when you bend backwards, right? Actually, before I do this, right? So this is your uh, uh, vertebra segment, and this is the facets here, this is the facets here, okay? Everybody do this, yay, facets, right? When you, when you extend, what happens? You close on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. When you flex, you what? You open, okay? Ready for this? When you side bend, what happens? Close here, and you open. Ready? What happens to the side? Close. Yeah, you close and you open. Yeah? Ready for this? I extend, I what? Close both sides. Then when I side bend, I'm closing which side? This side. So I'm closing this what? Twice. Right? So, yeah, so that means what I'm doing? I'm double stressing it. So, if she can extend and left side bend, is that because her left facet can't close. Ready? Give your heads up. Inflection okay. is opposite, okay? Inflection, you are, you're open, mm -hmm. okay? Now it's time to side bend. See, you have to open twice on this side here. Mm -hmm. So I am flexing this way, right here, right? Mm -hmm. So the opposite facet can't open. Thank God there is an acronym for this, okay? Foes. Flexion, opposite prop, opposite facet. ES extension, same side. Wait, F O S? F O E S. It's all here somewhere, right? It's right there. So over here, right? Look at this. Whoa, 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 look at this. Dr. E, thank you for making a chart for me. You're welcome.